final thing I want to talk about then, Sky One's new comedy drama. It's called Mount Pleasant. Have a nice afternoon. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. At least not without me. Now, I don't know about you, but the term comedy drama... Well, I was just about to pick up on that. ...is a difficult one. This is what it's billed as. And the best comedy drama that springs to mind, Cold Feet, from a few years ago... Yes, no, I agree. Just the best example of a comedy drama. It, you knew where you were with it. You knew it was both funny and dramatic in equal amounts. It was real. It was exciting. And what a lot of programmes are doing lately is comparing themselves to Cold Feet. I think uh, Mount Pleasant was, uh, was um, compared to Cold Feet and American sitcom Roseanne. Uh, Who by compared it to that? The cast at a recent... Uh, Sky One event. Right. So, bearing that in mind, let's talk about Mount Pleasant. Um, okay. Well, um, I really didn't like it at all. Um, no. I thought it was um, completely cliched. And, well, what can I say? I, I really hated it. Hey, that new Italian's opening next Thursday. We should go make a night of it. Can't anniversary. Ah, oh, is it? Brill. How long now, Lisa? Ten years. <gasps> God, how quick? God, it only feels like last month. Like you could remember, even if it was state you were in. <laughs> Isn't ten years an important one? Uh, they're all important, Denise. Me and Greg are coming up to four years now. Even that is important. Is he getting you anything nice? What's the tradition for ten years? Tin. Tin? What could he buy you that's made of tin? Bugger all. You'll forget anyway, I bet you. It's a good cast of well-known faces, but it's just terrible. Did you laugh at any point? I laughed at the title sequence. Oh, that was poor. But you know what I can never work out? But when, when I think something is really as bad as I thought Mount Pleasant was, is whether it knows it's bad. What, and you think it knows it's bad, so it's so bad it's good? Yeah, and I don't know whether it does. Because that title sequence, the music and everything, was just so tongue-in-cheek that I didn't know if it was put, making fun of itself in a way. But even if it is making fun of itself, it doesn't work. No, I know. And also, call me an old prude, I was surprised by some of the language in there that sort of came out the blue. I think they kind of threw it in to um, appeal to, you know, certain younger demographic, perhaps. Yeah, but who what, who was it supposed to appeal to, though? Well, that's a good question because it there was no there was no one that I could relate to. Um, no. I've got a note here at the end. Uh, Talia. Was did the you watch the whole thing? A, I did. Oh, you I did. That's no wonder you're de- you. no wonder you're drunk tonight. <laughs> I watched the whole thing. I got yes, twenty eight minutes I in. I, I know I got twenty eight minutes in. I think I think sometimes I mean I was ready to turn off after the title sequence, but I thought, come on now. We've got a podcast to do, people will be angry. But um yeah, I got twenty minutes in. I just found everything about it really irritating. Everything. Well, I think I think the, the characters, um if you call them characters because they weren't particularly well-rounded at all, um, were a very depressing version of what women and men can be like. Um, you know, the women, I know you didn't get this far, but probably, but the women all worked in a recruitment agency but didn't seem to do any work ever. They were just constantly talking about sex. There'd be a passing throwaway comment about work and then it was back to sex again. Yeah. Um, and the men were belittled. Yeah, and they, the men particularly were the most annoying characters of all, I think. Really? I thought the women were worse. Well, the women were annoying, but the men were annoying because they were just stereotypical men we'd seen before. Men that lurch and men that try and get around their wives and men that gamble and men that drink. and Just, just nothing in there that I hadn't seen a million times before. Done oh no! It was it was bent. very 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 derivative. Uh, that's the one. Yeah. It was it was very derivative. I just I don't know. I don't, maybe I'm not the demographic, but if I'm not, I would have thought you were. Oh why? 
I don't know who, who it was aimed at. This could have been filmed in 1950, really, for, for the kind of the angle that they went, you know, all, all women are jealous of other women. They try and steal each other's husbands, even though, you know, Dan wasn't particularly attractive. Um, you know, he's, he's not horrible looking, but he wasn't the kind of person, the kind of man that women would typically throw themselves at in this kind of world. Also, I don't like, um, I, and I don't like liking a lot of the cast, like Sally Lindsay's okay, uh, mm. Sh- Sean Reeves is okay, Daniel Ryan, who plays Dan, is okay. But I just, I didn't feel anything for it at all.